Welcome to the Big Blue Weekly. My name is Lane. And I'm Akash. Congratulations to Allie Cloyd for competing for the, for the third time in the Poetry Out Loud state. Next Thursday, the forensics team will be watching the documentary that PBS made about it. There are also several field trips next week, with Anatomy going to K-State, Skills USA going to state contest in Hutchinson, Wide Horizons visiting Rolling Hills Zoom, Jag K going to MATC Open House, and FFA will be at State Career Development. The MHS Drama Department will be hosting a new play. Clue will be showing at Rezac Auditorium. The times for that are 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, and 2 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday of next week. Can you solve the mystery? Also, Sunday, April 27th, the Chamber Choir will have a concert at KSU. Now here's Lane with his 60-second drawing competition. Welcome to 60 Second Drawings, where both of our contestants will have one minute to draw whatever I say. So let's meet our contestants. What's your name? My name's Kimry. My name's Cammy. Awesome. Okay, let's get started. Their prompt is to draw their favorite animal, but cats and dogs are off limits, because those are kind of obvious. Ready, set, go. And they're off for their one minute. Drawing their favorite animal. I think this is going to be really good. I'm super excited to see how these turn out. You know, a lot of past contestants have worried about the small details. But I would say a strategy would just be draw as many big things as you can and, like, don't get too detail-oriented. These are looking really cool so far. This is actually our fourth episode of the show. So we've had one for each quarter. Now this is the one for the fourth quarter. And actually it's our season finale. So that's especially cool. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Pencil's down! Okay, mine is a T-Rex, and yes, it's a dinosaur. Mine is a giraffe. <laughs> you can see it's got a really long neck, and I was working on the spots. This drawing, I knew immediately exactly what animal it was, and I like <laughs> the little bit of detail that was added to it. And the winner of this episode is Camry. With her T-Rex, how do you feel about winning? I feel so excited. I just want to thank my parents, and I just want to thank Blaine for being here. It really means a lot. Yep, thank you so much. We'll see you next year on 60 Second Drawings. I'm Lane. Thanks, Lane. Now for a more serious topic. Parking around MHS continues to shrink, but the new parking lot is getting closer to completion, until then, security is giving out citations to students parking on Canvas without a permit. Our SROs remind you that parking lot use is posted with lots of signage and vehicles without permits will be towed. Okay, guys? Security has been calling out students who were in violation so they could move their cars, but as the number of illegally parked students continues to increase. The school will have to begin towing vehicles that don't have permits. Now here's Eli with some more information on with school resource officer Brian Swearingen. Due to the new parking lot, many parking spots have been closed around MHS. This has been causing students to park in places where they shouldn't. Here's the SRO officer Brian Swearingen says students should avoid facil faculty lots and city lots without permits. Uh, the, the best thing to do is to pay attention for the signs. Uh, the school has signage for the boundary between faculty parking and student parking. Uh, there is free city parking over on Pine Drive. Uh, there is free city parking on Oak Drive over here. Uh, you have the full upper lot of Sunset Zoo uh, that is free city parking they are able to also park on Park Drive on the other side of the cemetery. You have heard where you can park, but here's where you cannot. The, sp the school parking lot, if you do not have a permit, the staff parking lot, no matter what, and no city spots, which are marked blue and yellow. 
So um, what we want to avoid is having to take any sort of enforcement action. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, the school has had to write several parking tickets on campus. We would like to avoid the possibility of having to tow anybody, um, but anyone not properly parked with a permit on campus can technically legally be subject to having their vehicle towed, which is very costly. With Officer swearing Jen's advice, you should be able to park. Thank you, Eli. Juniors, your certificates for the work keys exam are available in the junior office. Stop by and get yours. And don't forget to add this information to your resume. Graduating seniors, do not forget to fill out your senior surveys. This information is used in order uh, to order your diploma, so make sure that you get that in. And if you haven't stopped by the main office window to proofread your name for the graduation program, do it now and let uh, Mrs. Clark know if you have any changes. You can find a dazzling display of drawings at Deborah's Art Studio at Crown Center in Kansas City. I want my, my, uh, my studio or my space to say something about art. Artist Deborah Marino has drawn characters for 27 years. She started her drawing career in Las Vegas casinos and hotels. Deborah has drawn thousands and thousands of people all over the world. Caricatures are accessible. You you can go and do a caricature in you know in, in the street somewhere and charge ten fifteen dollars and by the time you have ten or fifty you already have your paycheck for the day. Along with oh Eli Porter and so Elizabeth good. Thornley, I'm Lane Lewison. Caffeine is the world's most commonly consumed psychoactive substance. They say. Withdrawal can cause headaches, irritability, exhaustion, and especially anxiety. It's no secret that you can't trust what's put in these drinks. Don't lean on caffeine. Would you want to become part of the big, uh, show up on the Big Blue Weekly? Become a camera operator or an editor? talented at music or script writing, scan the QR code to join our crew. We'll make sure to get in touch. Here's Lane with sports. All right, we got a really exciting week of sports, so let's get right into it. Today, Varsity Baseball will go head-to-head -head against Emporia at four at the Eisenhower Fields. Varsity Softball will also host Emporia at four at the Annaberg Park. Varsity track will be competing in the KU Relays today and Saturday. Um, girls swim and dive will be headed to the Marion meet, which is their last regular season meet. And for Saturday, boys tennis will be at the Junction City Tournament. This is one of three meets uh, coming up for tennis. And on Monday, tennis at 9 a.m. will be headed to Topeka to face Topeka High and all the other teams in that meet. And on Tuesday at 3, boys tennis will compete against Emporia at the Emporia High invite. Then girls soccer will also be going against Trinity Academy at 6.15. Hey. Hey. 
Hey, so, let's get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clear out the room, I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a big yeah. belt. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas on the bullshit. Yeah, I put that on mama's. They trying to black on my blessings. They thought I lost the snapping. I bet on me and my team. I so much what I'm clapping. I'm blowing a pack of that OG. Don't be acting like you know me. And if you did, that's an OG. That's been the NHS Sports Report. I'm Lane. Thanks, Lane. You bet, bruh. You know what my favorite sport is? Dancing. Prom is tomorrow, and juniors and seniors are will be having a blast. Prom night begins at 8.30, and prom starts promptly at 9 p.m. It's going to be out of this world. And if you need a date for freshman prom, this guy. Okay, for lunch today, we will be having Ranchero's Pizza. Monday, we'll be having Bacon Cheeseburger. Tuesday is Chicken Bites. Wednesday, ham, egg, and cheese breakfast bar. And Thursday, we got popcorn chicken. And there's no school on Friday, so enjoy the long weekend. This has been the Big Blue Weekly. I'm Lane. And I'm Akash. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to wish Quentin a very happy birthday next Thursday.